What's up guys, Troy here. This is Found in You by Vertical Church in the key of G, which is for a female lead, typically. So I uploaded this song years ago, one of the first uh, YouTube videos I ever uploaded, and it was in the key of B for a, a male lead. And I remember recording that one in the basement of our old place uh, with my iPhone as a camera. And uh, actually the same exact lighting setup that I use uh, to this very day. I've never upgraded the light <laughs> lighting setup that I use since like the very first couple videos I've ever shot. Uh, just cool to kind of think back. You know, I've been doing this six, seven years now and just brings back a lot of cool memories, man, um, from when I first started doing it. So anyways, um, why this one? So we decided to bring this one back for like an energetic first, second song that has lots of truth packed in it. So one of the reasons why I love the team that we have at our church is we never introduce songs. So the location that I, I go to, we never introduce songs because they're new and because they're cool sounding. Those like don't matter to us at all. In fact, the first thing that we look for is, is the song True. And we don't get to decide truth. We go to the ultimate source of truth, which is Holy Scriptures. So the song, first of all, has to line up with Holy Scriptures, and then we have the opportunity to play it. Um, and I love that truth first mentality. So then we stumble on songs like this, maybe that are years old or hymns and such that we just love the words to, but are not so like married to the instrumentation or the arrangement, or we feel like maybe just refreshing the arrangement, which is what we did with this one. So what you're hearing is... A recording that I pulled from the board at church, muted my guitar part, and I wrote guitar parts for it. So these are the parts that I play at church. So I wrote guitar parts for this new arrangement. and But for this playthrough, I just muted my actual track from church and played over it. So that's what you're hearing. So what we do for songs like this is we might like double up on a chorus or uh, play a bridge a couple times or bigger build or what have you to kind of make it fit our style more and to breathe new life into the song. And... Um, so if I recall correctly, it was our drummer, Joe, who decided on the arrangement for this one. He sent out an idea and we decided to try it, fell in love with it. And that's where like the halftime bridge came from. Uh, just sounds really cool. So I'm hoping that you, when you listen to the song, I hope you enjoy it. It's a really, really cool arrangement. So if you want like a short explanation of the tones that I use and a short explanation of the parts and such, that's over at guitarforhisglory.com. So you can check that out. So why the song found in you? Why did we decide to redo this one? And it's this idea of being in Christ, and this song really encapsulates that idea of being, being in Christ. It's such an important concept to the New Testament believer. And Paul, in the epistle to the Ephesians, uses this phrase like 30 times. In all of his epistles, it's like over 130 times that he uses this phrase, in Christ. And you just got to think, like, let's compare someone who is not in Christ versus a believer, someone who is in Christ. So apart from Christ, you are condemned. That is John 3, right? We are condemned apart from Jesus. We are condemned in our sin. We are condemned to everlasting torment in hell because of our rebellion against God. But in Christ, we are forgiven. We are redeemed. We are adopted. We are justified. We are made new. Adopted, redeemed, justified, made new. These are such important concepts. So when we are adopted, right, God looks at us and he calls us, his children. Apart from Christ, you are not a child of God. But in Christ, you are a child of God. Redeemed. So you have been redeemed from the curse of the law. You could not keep the law perfectly on your own. There's nobody who could accept Jesus. But in Christ, you wear that perfect robe of righteousness that he earned and that he imputed to you. So now you have that perfect record. You are redeemed, justified, right? Made Perfect in the eyes of God, your, your record wiped clean. So all your past sins, gone. You have that positive righteousness from being redeemed, right? Made new. You're a new creation. The old person has passed away. And now you're made new. You are born again to have a love for Jesus, to have a love for God, a love for his word, a love for his commandments. So being in Christ is the believer's life right? In Christ. So we're found in him. And that's the importance of finding these songs that have these deep truths in them to be able to put them on the lips of God's people so that we can sing them together and exalt the name of Christ and glorify our Heavenly Father. So that's why this song. Uh, quick update for uh, COVID. So getting over it. I'm going to go back to work tomorrow. Um, getting over it. And um, I still have, I, I forget, I think it was called like parosnia. I looked it up. So I have like 
phantom smells and just weird smell thing going on. Um, and it's like highly frustrating. Sometimes it's like just maddening the things that happen in this guy. Uh, and I also have no taste um, in coffin still, but yeah, getting over it, uh, praising the Lord that it, he saw it fitting to keep me safe. And so far my family's good too. So um, doing good on that front. Thank you for your prayers so much. Uh, so appreciate you guys. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.